Will you look? for your very kind and warm reception. It really is an honor to be with you today because we are about to do something honorable and to be quite candid with you is something we should have done long ago, not just from the Congressional Office, but I think that our nation should recognize the persons who were in harm's way so that many of us could have the opportunity to get the necessities of life. We've not done that and we need Please, if you would, allow me to start this event as we customarily do when we have our congressional events, and that is with a Pledge of Allegiance. Friends, there is no requirement that you participate in the Pledge of Allegiance. I do. I say the Pledge of Allegiance, I sing the National Anthem, I stand for the National Anthem, but it's not required in this country. It's something that we do of our own volition. I do it because, quite frankly, I love my country. But the greatness of the country will not be measured by whether I say the pledge and sing the national anthem. It will be measured by whether we will protect the rights of those who choose not to say the pledge and sing the national anthem. That's the greatness of America. We protect those who have views that are different from our own. So with this said, uh, I will turn my back. I assure you I won't be looking. 
and I'm going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Today, we will honor Kroger champions at multiple stores. We'll start with this store, and then we have a second store that we'll be going to. And then later on next month, we'll be honoring Kroger champions at another store. Before we finish, we'd like to honor every Kroger champion in the Kroger system. Every Kroger champion. And we are not limiting ourselves to simply the Kroger champions. There are other food stores, food venues, where people were out when other people were in. And we'd like to make sure that we get to them as well. I'm saying this because we're publishing this very broadly, and we don't want people to assume that we are ignoring the other champions as well. It just so happens that Kroger happens to be in our site at this time, but we will take on others at a later time. So at this time, please allow me to thank some persons. Uh, your store leader, Willard Haynes, is here. Willard, where are you? All right, let's give Willard a big hand, please. Okay, Willard, uh, why don't you come up and join me, if you'll stand here, please. And we'd also like to thank Martha Taylor, who is a division HR leader. Come on up, Martha. Leadership is always important in any endeavor, and Kroger has some of the finest leaders in the industry. I want to thank all of the management at Kroger. I want to thank all of the persons who have had a hand in putting this event together today, because I know that these things don't happen uh, by themselves. They don't just happen because someone desires to see it happen. It, they happen because people get engaged and they make them happen. So let's just talk about some of the people I believe who are in this process of making things happen. We've already called out Martha and Willard. Uh, I'm understanding that uh, David, who is an assistant store leader, are you here, David? Right. Up, David, I'm gonna ask you to come up with us. Sam, who is an assistant store leader. We've got the leadership team. Sam, Sam if you'll come to the other side, please. Uh, we're gonna finish, all right. And then we have Patrick, who is a district operations manager. We next have Linda, who is a District Asset Protection Manager. And now we have Shanae, who is a Corporate Affairs Manager. And Jordan, who is an Associate Engagement Communication Manager. So this is the leadership team that I'm aware of. I'm sure there are others. Uh, but I'm aware of these persons, and I'm going to ask that you give them all a really big expression of appreciation. Yeah. We will have a couple of them to say a couple of words in just a few moments, more than a couple to be granted. <laughs> but uh, I want to say this before we, we go to them. Uh, what you have done at a time of crisis and it was a time of crisis. Many persons lost their lives while this pandemic was consuming not only our country, but the globe. It was global in scope. What you did in a time of crisis is to be commended. At a time of crisis, when others were staying in their homes for fear of contracting a disease that was taking lives, you came to work, you were stocking the store, you were checking people out. You were even assisting people with uh, getting their groceries to their vehicles. You did the things that were necessary for persons that probably you don't know and may never meet and greet again to have a quality of life that I think they would not have but for your efforts. So to all of you who participated in this, this endeavor, I'm going to share with you the thoughts of someone whose name really is not known to us, but I uh, contribute 
the language to Ruth Smeltzer. And I'll wait until this announcement is, is complete before I give it to you. These are the words of someone who, who has defined, in my opinion, what um, you are all about. Here are the words. Some measure their lives by days and years, others by heart throbs, passions, and tears. But the surest measure under God's sun is what for others in your lifetime have you done. Thank you, all of you, for what you've done for others at a time of crisis in your lifetime. You deserve this expression of appreciation, and you deserve the hand that you're about to give yourselves. Please do so. Let's hear it for So now, I'm going to make a presentation and then ask that we hear just a few words from the presenter, the person, the recipient of this award. This is an unsung champion certificate of special congressional recognition presented to Kroger number 740. On behalf of the constituents of the 9th Congressional District of Texas, I salute your unwavering courage and selfless deeds for the betterment of humanity during the COVID-19 crisis. Therefore, I, Al Green, member of Congress, proclaim Kroger number 740 a courageous, celebrated, unsung champion. Let's hear it for Storm Number 740. Martha, I am so proud to present this to you, and I welcome you to the podium. Please share some of your thoughts with us. Well, thank you, Congressman Green, and uh, good morning, everyone. It's really great to be here with all of you. Uh, I want to start by saying a huge thank you to our associates. Thank you for your loyalty and your dedication every single day. Um, it takes teamwork and dedication uh, to be here day in and day out to serve each other, to serve your customers, and to serve the community. And without each and every one of you, we would not be able to do just that. So I thank you for your teamwork and collaboration, which is what makes uh, the, the store run and what keeps us in business and uh, serving this great community. So I thank you uh, for what you do every single day. Uh, we appreciate you, how you uplift each other, and how you uplift this community. So thank you to 740 store team. Thank you each and every one. And uh, as we bring next uh, Samuel Woodward to the uh, podium, I'm going to remind us all that as you served, quite candidly speaking, so did your family members. Because when you came out to serve others, there was a great possibility that you could uh, take something back home that would endanger the lives of your family members. So I'm very honored to let you know that we appreciate what your family members have done as well. So at this time, I'm going to ask Willard Haynes to uh, make his comments as an unsung champion. Willard, this is a certificate of special congressional recognition presented to you on behalf of the constituents of the 9th Congressional District of Texas. I salute your unwavering courage and selfless deeds for the betterment of humanity during the COVID-19 crisis. And I do so proudly and pray that uh, you and your family are doing well now, and of course, that they did well during the crisis. Thank you, Congressman Green. Uh, good morning, everyone. So today I have the, priv the privilege of expressing my gratitude to all the hardworking associates here at the phenomenal team, uh, Store Kroger 740. During the pandemic, we were all faced with uncertainty, not knowing how bad or how long it would last, how bad it would be. But associates here bravely chose to come to work and stay on the front lines, putting themselves and their families at risk. As, and that you all have continued to show up every day since to serve this great community. I want to thank Congressman Green and his staff and all of you for being here today to recognize that bravery and those sacrifices. It is truly an honor to be recognized by this community, the community that we serve every day. And it reminds us why we're all here, to feed the human spirit. Today is a great day for all of you and I want you to know that I personally appreciate each and every one of you. 
and I'm very proud to be a part of this team. Uh, thank you all again, everyone, for being here today. Next, we will have uh, David Cohen, who is an assistant manager. And thereafter, we will have Samuel Woodward, who is also an assistant manager. And as they're coming forward, let me remind us of this, that um, each of you, each of you played an important role. But someone noted earlier that it was teamwork that made things work so successfully. And I compliment you for the teamwork that you've demonstrated and ask that these two members of your team receive their unsung champion certificates of congressional recognition and say a word if they would please. So let's start with David. Guys, okay, so I'll just be very brief. I've been here for quite a while now and I just wanna thank each and every one of you, like they said, for being on the front lines. I know your family appreciates you guys being here. Uh, we sacrificed a lot, a lot of hours, a lot of hard work, but we made it happen as a team, as our Kroger family. So thank you guys very much. Thank you. And Samuel, if you would please, your unsung champion certificate of special congressional recognition, we are honored to present it to you and would I invite you to say just a word. Thank you. Um, Pleasure to have Congressman Al Green here today. Um, hats off to our team and hats off to all of the associates out there that are, were on the front lines. You know, you're truly heroes. Um, you know, words really can't encapsulate all that you've done and all that you continue to do. So uh, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Thank you. Now we will uh, have our presentation to some of our associates and those of especially those who are here today there may be some that will be called who are not here but they will get their certificates uh, notwithstanding their absence today uh, but they were here when it was important to be here and that was of course when we had the COVID crisis so what I'd like to do is this I'd like to have the persons come forward we're going to present the certificate here and then after we present the certificate they can shake every hand along this route on their way up as they pass. So let's start with. Um, Congressman, we're going to take a group photo right quick. Oh, we're going to take a group photo right quick. All right. If you'll all hold your certificates, we will take the group photo. Look straight over here. Thank you. All right. Now let's step forward out here. Okay. And let's uh, let's do this. You and I will move. Well, we have to stay here. So we'll stay here and we'll ask the persons who are coming up to start over here and then you'll come past us and go out over here, okay? Start on my left, proceed to my right. Okay, and you will announce the name and let me have the certificate. Javier Juarez. Lorenza Sorto Flores. Adrian Park. Althea Harder.
Anthony Poole. Aliyah Bell. <laughs> Kaylin Bellamy. Dalia Bonilla. <laughs> Stephanie Brown. Kennedy Carraway. <laughs> Melvin Davis. Alfredo Diaz. <laughs> Marvin Escobar. Deandra Good. <laughs> Jennifer Green. Vanessa Guerrero. Gregory Johnson. Twenty years of service. Yeah. 
Jessalyn Jones. Angela Martinez. Also, 24 years of service. Give her a hand, please. Deanna Mallet. Tyreek McBride. Gilberto Noyola. Felipe Alcaraz. <laughs> Vivian Petrie. service. Give her a hand, please. Alizé Prigion. Absolutely. Jessica Rodriguez. Patricia Settler. Twenty years of service, I'm retiring in June. <laughs> Toby Archer.
Jason Sherman. Years of service for Jason. Give him a hand, please. George Trees. <laughs> Santos Tomas. Vicente Vargas. And Jocelyn Johnson. Big hand, 34 years of service, please. Uh, and we uh, neglected to mention that Stephanie has 29 years of service. Give her a hand, please. Adrian has 27 years of service. Thank you for your service, all of you. And uh, this uh, is not the end of our appreciation because I think that whenever we're in the store, it's appropriate to say thank you to persons for the service that they've rendered, but it is also the beginning of something that we hope we can continue throughout the Kroger chain and then also with other uh, venues as well. So again, thank you for being with us today. Uh, we appreciate what you've done. We're about to take a group photo now with all of the persons with certificates. If you'll come back for just a moment, I know